Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com. In modern physics, let us discuss about time dilation. A moving clock ticks more slowly than a clock at rest. We will discuss about time dilation in little detail. In the theory of special relativity, the slowing down of your clock as determined by an observer who is in relative motion which, with respect to that clock. In special relativity, an observer in inertial, that is non-accelerating motion has a well-defined means of determining which events occur simultaneously with a given event. A second inertial observer who is in relative motion with respect to the first, however, will disagree with the first observer regarding which events are simultaneous. With that given event, neither observer is wrong in this determination, rather their disagreement merely reflect the fact that simultaneity is an observer dependent notion in special relativity. Here, Measurement of time intervals are affected by relative motion between an observer and what is observed. As a result, a clock that moves with respect to an observer ticks more slowly than it does without such motion. And all processes including those of life occur more slowly to an observer when they take place in a different inertial frame. If someone is moving spacecraft finds that the time interval between two events in the spacecraft is t0, we on the ground would find that the same interval has the longer time t. The quantity t0 which is determined by events that occur at the some place in an observed observer's frame of reference is called a proper time of the interval between the events. When witnessed from the ground, the events that mark the beginning and end of the time in interval occur at different places and in consequence the duration of the interval appears longer than the proper time. This effect is called time dilation. That means dilate is to become larger. Here, look at this. A closely related phenomenon predicted by special relativity is the so-called twin paradox. Suppose one of two twins carrying a clock departs on a rocket ship from the other twin. That means uh, one, one, one is moving in the rocket with high speed, second is stay in the home or stay in some reference frame. An inertial observer at a certain time and they rejoin at that time later. After some time they rejoin together. In accordance with the time dilation effect, the elapsed time on the clock of the twin on the rocket ship will be smaller than that of the inertial observer twin. That means the non-inertial twin will have aged less than the inertial observer twin when they rejoin. That means who are moving faster and come back and meet their uh, twin that who is moving fast having less each then who is stay in the air. That means uh, moving faster while moving faster the clock slow down. Further detail look at here. Here look at this figure and the astronauts uh, suppose look at this uh, for time references that that is zero like a uh, light source is passing to the mirror and come back to the receiver and the distance is d. Now this look at this second figure that here the beginning event this end event that uh, l is 
V delta T by 2 because going and come back returning that is uh, L is V D T by 2 and here this L here. Now look at here this L is uh, L0 you can use it V D T by 2 this is another L here this is there. This is equal to square root of d square plus l square here. Now, this is a thought experiment demonstrating the effect of special relativity. Now, we will discuss further about this uh, features. Let the proper time is t0, the time needed for the light pulse to travel between the mirrors at the speed of light is c equal to t0 by 2. The t0 is normal time by 2. Hence, T0 is 2L0 by C because length by speed is time. Squaring both sides, that is CT square by 2 whole square, that is C equal to that C here, this one. S equal to here, that is CT square by 2 whole square, that is a square equal to L0 square plus vt by 2 whole square. Now opening the brackets, that means uh, squaring both sides here. Here is t square by 4 and here is c square and this side is l square plus v square t square by 4 then collecting that common factor is t square by 4 we took out and c square minus v square equal to l0 square. From this we are by cross multiplying we will get t square equal to 4L0 <coughs> square over C square by V square. That is by cross multiplying, right? Here, then 4L0 uh, square we can write this 2L0 whole square by here C square and suppose C square taken out is 1 minus V square by C square here. Then from this we can get uh, T by using square root. The square root means here 2L0 square by c because the square root and this is here square root therefore t equal 2l0 by c over 1 minus v square by c square but 2l0 over c equal to t0 initial time then there is a proper time in the f not moving that here the body is not moving with the reference frame is time is t0 now time time dilation is t0 over square root of 1 minus v square by c square. This is the important formula for time dilation and for that t0 is a time interval on clocks at the rest relative to an observer that is a proper time. Then t0 is time interval on clock in motion relative to an observer. Here, here not t0 it's a t. Then v equal v equal speed of speed of relative motion and c equal to speed of light. Therefore, t equal this is a formula, but therefore that is time dilation is t equal t zero by square root of one minus v square by c square. Like that here length contraction also we can find by using this relation and for the details we will discuss in future videos we have done please subscribe our youtube channel